Hello and welcome back to The Reaper. Today we're looking at using the model viewer in DTS World A, just because it's cool, and B, uh, because we can use it to check out how our textures are looking at the moment without having to load up. Uh, the only other way is to load up uh, the actual DTS game and um, go and basically make a mission and fly around and look at your plane that way. That's a pain in the butt. The model viewer is a lot better and I'm absolutely no expert as I'm sure you guessed, but I'll show you how I do it. So first of all, if we're going to be looking at a texture that we're developing, then we need to go and grab that texture. Now, as I told you on my texture making video, uh, you should make it outside of the main game directory um, because the last thing you want to do is end up corrupting your game directory. So that, I've done that. I've done it in my C drive. Users, me, save games, C drive, uh, sorry, D drive, DCS, uh, liveries, and we'll just pick the F5 out. F5E and this uh, just pick any of these what's cap look like uh, a bit fruity yeah why not we'll do cap um, so this is this the livery for the F5 I didn't do this someone did it for me all liveries come with a bunch of DDS files here which are mip mappable bitmaps basically or com no mip map compressed uh, their image files mip map image files with a description the description is just a, a non-binary um, set of instructions that tell DCS what to do with these, where to put them on the aeroplane, if you like. Um, that's near enough for a description. So what we're going to do is copy that folder from the place that we are making it, it, uh, which is outside of the DCS main folder. And as far as I'm aware, we have to put it into the DCS folder. So we're going to copy that. We're gonna, now going to go to DCS, which is an E drive for me, DCS world. We're going to go to core mods. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful here because the way DTS is laid out, different aeroplanes are put in different folders for the purpose of doing what we're doing today. My understanding is that some are in mods, some are in core mods, and some may even be in bazaar. Uh, the one that I looked at today, which is the F5E, is in core mods. So, you know, it's not a stretch beyond the imagination to find out which of those folders it needs. you need to go in. In core mods, we're going to go in aircraft. In there, you can see not all of the aircraft are in here. Uh, this is where we're going to find the F5E and we're going to go to liveries in the F5E. This is a game folder now, so this is not the thing we should be really prattling around with. The Dash 3 version is the export version that uh, we have. And here are all of the DCS official skins. We're going to plonk our one in there as well. Paste. So that's in there now. Just check it's copied okay. And it has. Next thing we need to do is load up the model viewer. So we're going to go to E drive, DCS world. We're going to go to the binary folder. This is where all your dynamic library links and your executables are. I'm going to go find, I type in model, model viewer. Out of interest, I'm not sure what model converter is, but it sounds interesting if anyone knows. Run it, give it a second to load up. It's going to have to load, load up, link up to several files inside DCS. So, Okay, here we go. So, next thing we're going to do is load our model, fi file, load model, and I better show doing it from the beginning, so my computer, let's check I'm recording, yep, uh, go into the game folder, E drive, DCS world, for, for the F5 it is in core mod, aircraft, uh, F5, you'll be under shapes, because we're talking about the the physical model now, I'm not talking about the texture per se, it will apply the texture to it, but the model um, are EDM files. I, I've got experience of mod, 3D modeling, but we're talking, how old am I now, 38? We're talking well over 20 years ago, 25 years ago, so I don't really really remember it. I can't remember what an EDM is, if, even if I knew. In fact, it's probably specific to them by the sounds of it, E or Dynamics Model. Um, okay, and uh, now I don't know which it is I want to pick out of here. So my usual process, I'll, I'll pick the one, the, the biggest file. It seems more appropriate. This one here is eight megabytes, so I'm going to pick that. Just having a look around, yeah, it seems to be biggest. Open. Papa, we have an F5. We have some cool stuff. Uh, we have arguments here, textures here, and we have some general information there. We can see there's 134 separate objects. Uh, in there. I guess an object would be from my modeling days, an object would be a canopy, front canopy, nose cone, pylon, elevon, elevator, 
stuff like that. Um, triangles, the actual amount of polygons built up. So believe it or not, in an F5, and this shows why you need such a powerful graphics card, an F5 is 98,400 triangles, <laughs> which is absolutely... And this is about the smallest, simplest plane you can get as well. Think about an SU-27 or something. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Instances, I don't know. Shadows being cast, none. But as far as I'm aware, and I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, the next thing is we'll go and load our... Uh, this is a, um, a log, um, so this is what's actually been done at the moment in this editor. So next, we'll go and load our texture. So we're going to go... I'm just going to close that down at the moment. Tools. Uh, livery is tool. We're going to go down to the F5E if we can find it. F5E, F5E, come on monkey. F5E3, that's our one. Find our folder. Oh, bugger, what did I call it? I've actually forgotten. There it is, F5E cap. Load livery. Get rid of this now. And that is our livery. Get some. And Union Jack and Reapers and cool stuff like that. Um, so that's that loaded. Uh, and that's all I really wanted to show, but out of interest, we can do some cool stuff. So let's have a play. Arguments here. Um, my understanding is this is, well, essentially means animations or it's that's not quite what it means but it's near enough I guess so um, if I want to move stuff across you see that's the front wheel coming out and um, uh, what else have we got we've got more wheels coming out that wheel whatever that is another door or something that wheel got a flap going down there flap we got uh, the rest of hook Elevator moving, stabilizer, elevator, whatever. Oh, look, uh, the trailing edge thingies I just had there. Look. That's pretty cool. Nothing, 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 nothing. nothing. <laughs> cool, huh? Parachute animation. So just remember, you don't have the ability to modify stuff here. It's purely for viewing, and it's fun. Um, if I want to change the environment, different types of environment. I want to change the sunshine angle as far as I'm aware yet. Or, you know, where the sun is over the course of the day. It's pretty cool. I want to add some rain. So on. Uh, so that's that. Let's see if there's anything else of interest to us. Where you want to do your camera? It's top. Probably off the graphic that is, I'm not sure. Um, gonna, um, bottom and so on. If you want to go to default, you can just move it around. Default is non orthographic. You can have it set orthographic there if you want. Arguments. I uh, can reset all those, all these animations and arguments. Show bounding boxes. Model shell. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Log views. That thing down there. Connections and grids. As far as I'm aware, it's with no real relevance to us. Uh, view. Drawing modes, this is quite cool, so if we want to see it in the wireframe, you can see there's 90,000 90, triangles there. Can't seem to zoom in for some reason at the moment, but you can zoom in and see every little triangle in there. And when you've got little details like the landing game and stuff, you can see why it takes so many so many polygons. I'm guessing it must have some sort of um, um, kind of model-based mesh uh, mip mapping ability, because it wouldn't render these when they're out of view, if you know what I mean. It wouldn't render it as 98,000 polygons when it's five miles away otherwise it would just that would just destroy the GPU it would never be that inefficient would it so I'm guessing somewhere they've got a cool algorithm to um, uh, to mip map this mip map this well I hope they would to mip map this mesh down I remember uh, my olden days when I actually made my own 3D um, flight sim long long time ago long long time ago it was even online as well and I, I had a cool little algorithm that um, uh, shrunk it down by whatever it was 50% polygons it was a bit ugly but it, well, it worked uh, every so many miles you got away from it to save um, you had to really be careful of processing time back then you didn't even have GPUs from what I can remember you had DirectX 1 or 2 or something anyway don't know where I'm going with that um, okay view it, you know there you go the different view modes you can have here cockpit modes don't seem to work wherever they are that's going cockpit I think doesn't do anything um, you can load the textures as we saw there, and you can add some 
wingtip contrails. I don't think that actually works as far as I'm aware. Couldn't get it to work anyway. And then put it back to solid. That's it. Cool little thing, right? Um, nothing else to show, really. All I wanted to show is just that you can load your uh, textures on it. Right, I hope they help. See you later.